So for those of you who don't know about the Jazz and Heritage Foundation, um, in a nutshell, uh, there's a fellow who you may have heard of named George Ween. If you haven't heard of him, you should. He was pretty much the inventor of the modern music festival. Back in the 50s, he created very important events like the Newport Jazz Fe Festival, the Newport Folk Festival, and went on to create a whole bunch more like the Playboy Jazz Festival and the JVC Jazz Festival in New York and other things. And in the late 60s, a bunch of tourism folks and hotel operators and people like that in New Orleans brought him to town to ask him if he would create a jazz fest in New Orleans. And long story short, he basically said, I will do it on the condition that this not be a for-profit event. event. It has to be owned by a nonprofit that will take the proceeds from what I predict will be a very successful event and plow those resources back into the community in one way or another so that we preserve the culture, we preserve the music, and make sure that this thing that we're creating a festival to celebrate lives on. And that's what happened. So the Jazz and Heritage Foundation was created. It is a nonprofit. It owns Jazz Fest uses the proceeds from Jazz Fest as our primary fundraiser, and then we do various things throughout the year. Uh, we have grants programs, so we give away money to arts projects, education projects, that type of thing. We have our own education projects, like the Heritage School of Music, which is a free after-school program for high school kids to learn how to play jazz. Um, housing initiatives, where we uh, provide people with grants to cover the costs of buying, uh, things like closing costs, or now in the post-Katrina environment, things like rental assistance for returning musicians, or um, helping to clear up bad credit that might be helping, uh, that might be keeping people out of uh, Habitat for Humanity House, that type of thing. We, we own radio station WWOZ, we own their broadcast license. Um, what else? We have a bunch of other stuff. Well, and, uh, but newly, what we are doing is creating a slew of other cultural events, festivals, that do a few things. They help boost tourism. They help provide employment opportunities for musicians. And they provide more entertainment options for people in New Orleans and elsewhere who want to come to town. And also for us, from a strategic standpoint, it helps us create more assets that we can have as an organization so that we are not so outweighed by Jazz Fest in the public perception. Most people don't know about the foundation, even though it's existed for 37 years. So we have a lot of marketing to do. And creating events is a great way to have an opportunity to tell your story. It gets you back out in front of the media and, um, and in front of the public. So um, these are one way that we want to build up credibility for the foundation, build up a, a better public profile. And, uh, and fulfill our mission at the same time. Seven more festivals? Mm -hmm. So on uh, Thursday, May 3rd, we're going to do an event called Fan Fest, which is a free concert in Lafayette Square. Um, we're going to do a Cajun and Zydeco festival in mid-June. In late September, we're going to do a festival in Congo Square called Congo Square Rhythms that celebrates the melting pot of New Orleans culture. Uh, we're going to do a traditional jazz event in Washington Square Park in the Maroney on October 6th. Um, then the second edition of the New Orleans Blues Festival on October 20th. Fiesta Latina, Latin Music Festival on November 17th. And then the third installment of uh, Down by the Riverside, which is a, a Thanksgiving community concert that we put on. My goodness. And in the, mid in the middle of October, we're also going to do the, uh, the music and film licensing event that I was telling you about. Yeah, I saw this. This, this is going to be pretty cool. So this is about you're trying to, to place Louisiana music in films. In films. Yeah. Um, well, the idea is to do a music and film trade show, generally. And for the first year, we want to keep a strong focus on Louisiana music in particular. It's a, it's a brand new event, so we want to start it small, not try to bite off too much.